So we're going to start this off with, or just as a casual stream, playing my main profile, or not my main profile, my stream profile. About halfway, I'm going to tell you about my sponsorship, which uh, tonight's stream is brought to you by Marvel Strike Force. Uh, That'll, that's an all-week thing. Uh, Wednesday night, I will actually be playing it for at least two hours. So we'll be taking a break from Zelda and showing off a little bit of Marvel Strike Force. Um, hey, all you have to do is type in uh, exclamation point Marvel and use the link that pops up to sign up with a fresh account if you've already started playing it. You're uh, kind of SOL. <laughs> <coughs> but um, if you haven't, you can actually help support Rancho, Rancho Media by playing that game for up to at least level 5. But to be awesome, at least do level 20. But I will tell you more about that about halfway point. We're going to get to playing. Hmm. We're going to head on over to this side, I think. We're going to take the Skyview Tower up, see if we can't float over as much as possible. But yeah, about halfway through stream, like I said, I'll take a break. I will tell you about the sponsor. And then second half of stream, I'm actually going to play the uh, file that I have almost 100 hours in. That way uh, I can show you the difference between, um, you know, 10 hours here as opposed to uh, 15, or almost 100. Why did I say 15? We're going to actually go to that. <laughs> showing you guys my uh, little death machine I came up with as well. The flying machine that I take around Hyrule, you'll get to see that as well. I did not come up with that. Though. Um, other players have, but it was it's, it's a really neat one, so I figured I'd use it. Did I get, didn't I get the, yes I did. You know what, that's actually better than my climb. Anyways. So is my climb up here, I'm going to put that on its own hand. Now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, sales numbers. We're going to talk about... Uh, review scores, and we're going to talk about what other developers are saying about Tears of the Kingdom. I also want to let you all know that here, fairly soon, I'm hoping maybe by next week, if not by next week, within the next uh, two weeks, I will also be streaming on a new platform known as Kick. Um, I'm going to do a, I'm going to start trying to do multi-stream, where it's going to be a test run, um, depends on how badly the, um, internet dips out and stuff, actually trying to do a multi-stream, so we'll see how that turns out, if it does not go well, well then, um, I won't continue to do that, but if I can, I will be also, uh, joining kick which is actually still in beta so it is very new a lot of my uh, other streaming buddies have been jumping over there and uh, it's like yeah I just I don't 
I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to keep doing what I'm doing here. <laughs> That's a little bit much. Okay. It should still be good. Um, see, this is a giant button and stuff. Alright. I think I gotta do. Ah, uh, okay. I remember what I gotta do here. It's a little bit of a pain. I'm not going to be able to get up there just yet. Another uh, nice block. It did. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Take a look at the cam here. Oh, we're still good. Okay. Alright. 
I believe I seen our fr uh, sign guy friend somewhere. I think it was up this way. I might as well go grab this material over here. Oh, I think we got a Korok puzzle up here, maybe? I know, just a lot of rocks laying in the road. Okay. Wait a minute, this is a fallen log though. Um, nothing on this side. Okay. I'm gonna watch inside logs because sometimes uh, Koroks like to hide on the inside of those. up there. I might as well. Between the kids and your aunt. Might as well move into the frickin' parking lot of the hospital. <laughs> Told her I'm gonna put her in a frickin' bubble. scouts and I get a phone call you know I'm expecting that I'm about to take her to work and I get a phone call and she's like I might need to go to the hospital <laughs> Derek said that uh, next time take the whole finger so you can collect on it She said she didn't even really feel it, so if she, she don't feel it would be so bad if she did. <laughs>
Oh well, she could use a paid day off. Poor Goofy Pop. <laughs> we were just talking about that not all that long ago, actually. <laughs> for nothing, that's for sure. We're gonna play with you guys a little bit, why not? Oh great, there's damn trees too. That's right, we have a whole bunch more inventory again because uh, I turned in a bunch of Koroks last night. Got me a thick stick. Let's see. Uh, we're good on weapons for... Ooh. Hold on, that's a Zonite spear. That's a nice attack weapon. For this early in, that's good. We got a 20 there, we got a 16. That's some pretty decent weapons to get started with here. Alright, that's fine. We got some bees over there. We're gonna have us some fun with these guys. And yeah. uh -huh. of course it's not good. thick stick, so why don't we actually drop the thick stick? Take the sturdy one. There we go. Uh, we don't have a weaker axe. 
sticks. Wonderful. Um, hmm. I, I kind of wonder if this will work. Where is it? I doubt it. Yeah, nope. That will not work. Didn't think it would, but it was worth a shot. Hate to use this. Just for that, but whatever. Let's keep on heading this direction. attached right here like this. I got up here just in time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stupid, I can get myself a few butterflies too. Dang it. still have some things open that don't need to be open so give me a second here that's probably why we had that little bit of lag there all right should be good now
God at the moment. Right. Yeah, speaking of our sponsor, Kitty's actually right behind me right now playing. Um, her verdict of the game was it's not that bad. I played it for a little while in the past on uh, on my phone, and I made it to about level 16. I, I had fun with it while I played it. I'm looking forward to going back into it, see what they've changed. Yeah, they make uh, recipe recipes better. They can add one of three random effects. Like they can like, for instance, say the food you made was a level one cold resistance. So there's a chance it could make it a level two. Um, there's also, it could give you more health or I forget what the other one is. Oh, extended time.
Alright. Where can I find another tower that I haven't done yet? Is that one I haven't done yet? Oops. Ah, uh, that's the one I can't get. I ain't doing yet. That's right. That one I've already got. What about this one? What is this? Where is that? Alright. Let's go ahead and travel here and try to float on over to that tower as close as possible. You stupid cat. I might have to readjust my camera because my my cat decided that uh, where I have my camera setting that he's going to rub his face on it and move it. climbing gear back on. And we might as well throw this back on too. The added defense. Cena shooting a star fall. Ain't worried about getting that just now. There's the memory. So if you're worried about spoilers, do not watch. I thought. 
This is not the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. Oh, I'm sure. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh? I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Ah, <sighs> uh, I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> now, Zelda dear. You don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a distant relative of ours. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. Oh. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. It is safe too looking in. here. It's another one of those geoglyphs. So we've got them marked. Um, don't see any other ones at the moment. But I am still also looking for that core rock that is hidden in here somewhere. Rock 
guarantee he's hiding under a rock. Where? This is where I found the memory. feeling I didn't get this one. He's jumping up to uh, up and grabbing receipts off the corner of the dresser. What the heck is wrong with my cat right now? He's gone psycho. That's no, that's not Numi Zoomies. That's I'm gonna jump up and like drop kick these receipts off the corner of this dresser. Uh, did you let him watch that America's Got Talent video with the Taekwondo or something? No, no, he wasn't anywhere near me while I was watching that. You broke my cat. first off.
worth other than for some materials. So there might be something else in there. some food. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm not even reading this. The monsters, I can't hear them anymore. Come on, Jogo, what's taking you so long? Quick, you gotta unlock the door. Okay. We defeated the monsters. Thanks for helping us. We took a break in this here vacant house to get away from the cold, and before we knew it, monsters had surrounded us. Hey, you should be sure to thank him nice and proper, like. Uh. I still can't believe you came to help us. You really did save us, you know. Ever since the upheaval, there have uh, been more and more monsters. We are trying to be careful, but... Ah. I don't know how to thank you enough, but please take this. Mm. Uh, but it doesn't feel like it's thanks enough, not for someone who saved Whoa. our lives. Oh, hey, I got an idea, mister. Do you know anything about shield surfing? Yes, ah. I'm familiar with it. Of course you are. You've hauled yourself to a place in the snow. You've got to know a thing or two about shield surfing. Anywho, just remember, after you get the shield into position, all you got to do is jump on it and ride. But of course, there will be no surfing for you if you don't get some momentum going. It's kind of tricky like that. And, ah, uh, that's right. Oh. If you like... If you like that shield over yonder, go right ahead and use it. We brought plenty of our own. It may not look like it, but I used to be a professional shield surfer, you know. I heard a rumor that this legendary surfer somewhere in the Hebrew Mountains, so I came here looking for him. Aww. But, well, I didn't know their exact location. Worse yet, I took a break here and ended up surrounded by monsters. Whoa. Hey, but if you need to know anything about shield surfing... <laughs> I just scared the crap out of my one cat moving my foot. <laughs> At least I can help with that. Anything you don't understand about it, just go ahead and ask me.
something I want to do real quick because for some reason the timer is not sending this out. So we're going to force it to send it. There you go. You're going to want that link here, here very shortly. Might as well get a head start and go ahead and click it now. That way you can already get the game downloaded and started. I was hoping I was close enough to crack him before you're in, but I guess not. kind of neat. Not particularly difficult, but pretty neat. I just gotta remember where the chest is. Good. Okay, I see it right down over there. All right. First things first. I thought this was one of the meter shrines that I've played so far. Now, the ball will just slip right in between here and not go. So, what we need to do now is remove these. One on the other side. Huck. 
I missed. for it to slide back down so it's easier to get to this ladder. All right. There we go. Wasn't sure I was making that jump. Make sure. Yep. Okay, that didn't work. slide. I 
kind of cheesed it a little bit. Another uh, shrine down, and now we're going to talk a little bit about the sponsorship this week, which comes from Marvel Strike Force. All you need to do is, uh, if you don't already see the link in chat, just hit uh, exclamation point Marvel in the chat, hit enter, and you will get my link that you will need to download the game for me to get credit for this uh, sponsorship. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about it here. Um, and then I'm gonna go on break and we're going to load up the other game. But anyways, Marvel Strike Force is a Mobile Squad RPG that allows you to battle with your favorite team of superheroes and supervillains in a fight to save the universe against threats like Doctor Doom and Apocalypse. Your goal, is to, your goal in the game is to power up your favorite characters, complete missions, unlock gear, resources, beat other players in PvP modes such as Alliance, War, and Real-Time Arena. You'll recruit both villains and heroes from across the multiverse, including Thanos and Venom. From there, power up your characters. Hold on a second, I got things getting in my way here. From there, power up your characters to take on game modes like Campaigns, Arena, and Blitz. If you are a new player, you can unlock up to 17 total characters within the first 30 days, including Spider-Man, Deadpool, Thor, Captain America, Captain America, oh my, can't speak tonight, and more favorites. Also, you can uh, unlock characters and costumes from movies, TV shows, and comics. Uh, for a limited time this month, you will unlock exclusive characters for free by logging in. You'll get Star-Lord, a legendary character, and it's first time that a legendary is be given, being given away for a limited time only. You want to get uh, him unlocked before it is too late. You'll also get characters like Mantis, Nebula, Spider-Weaver, Spider-Verse, Spider-Man Miles, and Spider-Punk, which you'll have to log in uh, for seven calendar days, and to receive Punk, you'll get him on the third day. Spider-Man 2099, and for those of you who are supporters of the LGBT community, they are bringing out a costume this month here in June for Mystique. Uh, new ways to battle with your roster are released regularly, and the meta is always evolving. Along with campaigns, Blitz and Arena, there's also Alliance War, a massive weekly alliance battle, raids, and Cosmic Crucible, where you go head-to-head -head against other players in a tournament. Marvel Strike Force is rolling out a new set of offers designed to help you all, the players, quickly get to higher level content time heist offers are a great way to jump ahead and unlock new game modes features and teams and set you up to play competitively with your alliance progress quickly beat the grind jump to end game you could do all that with that link as i said just type in exclamation mark marvel hit enter click that link and get playing today get yourself to at least level five to uh, fully support Rontro Media, continue playing to level 20. I highly encourage it. We already do have two people to level 5. I would like to see a couple more people hit level 5. I don't want to start seeing people hit level 20. This goes only, you only have, I believe, until Sunday to get to level 20. I started this yesterday, so a week would be Sunday. Get, uh, Get it downloaded now while you still have the opportunity to get a few 
special characters a lot quicker than you would get any other way. Now that is going to do it for now. We are going to take a quick uh, break. I shall return and we will be playing my uh, usual profile. We're going to save this right now. We're going to play the uh, profile that I play off stream. So just hang in there and I will be right back. Since we've reached halfway point and had our first break, this uh, is our discussion portion of the stream. The discussion tonight is Tears of the Kingdom, one month in. As of today, uh, okay, so it released May 12th. It is June 12th. We are a month into this game's release. Um, I'm at roughly almost... 100 hours as you see 95 hours or more i i'm probably maybe an hour away from hitting 100 hours unfortunately i can't show you how much we've played here but we've already had five streams of at least two hours so we're going to say roughly 10 to 15 hours in our stream game so you've seen the first hour what it looked like well within the first six streams here you've seen what it looks like building yourself up this is a hundred hours into the game roughly and th this is what it looks like and i'm actually going to uh use the amiibo uh, i meant to in uh the first half forgot to um pretty cool looking in my opinion uh hopefully y'all can see that i don't even see the camera up i can't see it so really cool amiibo really like it uh, we're going to run that here in a minute. Oh, that's right. We're up at a great fairy fountain on this one. So a little bit of what I want to talk about is um, I want to talk about the ratings of this game. Um, <laughs> let's see. Give me one second here. Um, we have... Let's talk about the rating first. So, uh, on Metacritic, the meta score right now is a 95%, which I believe, I believe Breath of the Wilds is like 96. I want to say in the rating on Metacritic, I didn't really go look over at Breath of the Wild, but I know it is sl at least slightly higher in the ratings than this game from Metacritic. But the one that I really want you to pay attention to is the one that is uh, the user score of like 82%, I believe it was, and 8.7. They gave it an 8.7 out of 10. Now, that's pretty darn impressive of a user score, especially since the game was getting review bombed there for a bit. Uh, kind of like Diablo 4 is right now as well. It seems to be the popular thing right now to uh, review bomb super popular games that are actually doing well. So, you got to take that into account for that 8.2 score. Um, if I were to score it based off what I've played so far, I would give it at least a 9.5, personally. Um, but I haven't finished the game yet, so I'm not about to actually give it a full score. Um, I will get there eventually. I'm still having a lot of fun with this game, even this late in. I'm not ready to be done with it. Um, I'm two dungeons in. Um, as you see, I have the fairy that can level gear up to level three which is what I'm doing now just to be done with it
right, we only have three more pieces left here to do. Ah! Mmm. a lot of supplies. As of right now, this is my current armor build. Um, I haven't had the material to level up this helmet yet to make it better. So I opted for this. It gives me that one extra defense for now. If I wanted to, I could honestly even run this. Which brings me up to 36, actually. Oh. Even better yet. Maybe I'm gonna start running them earrings there. There we go. That's my best bet right now. So I got myself some decent defense. Now, uh, level 42. As you see, I've got lots of different materials here. Quite a bit, actually. This is like all the armors that I have already. Uh, this is bow slots, shield slots, weapon slots. Uh, lots of different foods here. Lots of Zenai device type stuff. A lot of the key items. So that's what we're looking at right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can't find some enemies to mess around with. Actually, for right now, I'm going to actually equip the Bokoblin Mask. Let's see, I've got plenty of hearts. I've got uh, two rings of stamina. There's a couple enemies there. We're going to go into auto build here. We are going to rip this up. Build it. We're gonna talk about sales numbers here in just a second. But I wanted to show off my death machine. Absolutely no reason to even go into battle. And Kitty's back behind me calling me a cheater, even though I'm using things exactly the way I'm supposed to. Absolutely love my death machine. sense me sending it after him he is 
is a fire, um, I forget even what they're called, whiz rib. That's it. I almost forgot what they were called. How many, uh, Zonite do I have? So even if I don't get to uh, use this one again, I'll, I'll build another one. It's not too hard to get to night. It's relatively easy. Of course, I've got Ogdorok spitting at me. No more enemies close by. Uh, before we continue on, uh, I want to talk again uh, a little more about. We're, we're going to talk about the sales numbers here. So, unfortunately, the most recent that I can find for uh, the sales numbers is literally three days into its sales. Uh, actually okay this says 523 so that's within the first well okay that's when this article was so these numbers are from three days after release so if you don't already know by now in the first three days of this game's release it sold 10 million copies worldwide now um here is numbers per uh, country. So we're going to start with the country that sold the least. Um, I want to know why. Hold on. This is in units in millions. I'm trying to figure out what that asterisk means. It doesn't show me. I put an asterisk next to it and then don't actually tell me what it means. Okay. Anyways. Um. France sold roughly uh, half a million copies. Um, the UK sold roughly about 210... Okay, so I should have started with UK. UK has sold the least with 210,000 roughly. Then France at f roughly 500,000. Japan sold a total of 2.24 million and 4 million sold here in America. So we know where this game is the most popular, which is right here in America. Um, but it is pretty impressive, the sales in Japan for a Zelda game. It is also um, the highest, I want to say the highest selling Zelda game of all time as well and the series back in March of 2023 has sold about 130 million and that's uh, series wide and um, if you look at the sales numbers of uh, Breath of the Wild um, Breath of the Wild's sales numbers are roughly 31 million now to date, which is um, pretty insane considering that the series has sold 130 million. So 30 million alone was Breath of the Wild. And now Tears has already sold roughly 10 million uh, ten day, or three days into sales. Um, and it's got a long way to catch up to Breath of the Wild, but how long exactly? Will it take it to sell just as much as Breath of the Wild? It's one of the fastest. It, it might be actually the fastest Nintendo game that is sold in history as well.
another thing I want to uh, bring up as well. We've talked about this a little bit in the past. Um, we have developers really admiring Nintendo for what they've uh, been able to do and everything with this game and uh, just really in awe of how they pulled off some of this stuff. Now, I'm not going to take away from other developers and say that it isn't possible for other developers to make a game like this. Um, what it comes down to is other developers, they, they have a development team for one game. They move beyond that game. I'm setting myself on fire. Once they get beyond that game, they have, um, a lot of times they'll let teams go. And that's where a lot of these game companies, I feel, are really messing things up, is they're not really, um, they're not treating their employees with respect and letting them know how much they appreciate what they're doing for the, their company and stuff. Whereas Nintendo, they've been using the same, you know, a lot of the same people for, for um, people have been with the company, like, for instance, Miyamoto alone, like, he's been around since basically the beginning. And, uh, what? Mm-hmm. But anyways, Nintendo shows that they appreci appreciate their staff. And... When you have happy workers, those workers are more likely to give it their all when uh, they work for you. If they don't feel appreciated, they're not going to do a great job. Why do I feel like there should be a group around here to help me take these guys out? Maybe there isn't, but... Not as many as I thought there. This is going to be fun to watch. <laughs> this is so much fun. People are just really in awe of the physics engine that uh, was used. Like, because the physics work in all situations. It's not just some situations, it's many. Oh, 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 he wants to. a better weapon. Uh, what's a good weapon I have right now? Let's go ahead and use this one. Why not? As you see, just look at the weapons that I have compared to uh, the rest of the game. Or the, well, not the rest of the game, the other game, the, the, the normal uh, stream profile. Hold up one second. Sorry about that.
second minute turn around. of an earful <laughs> coming here in a minute. <laughs> Dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, don't run into this. They hurt. It's just awesome how much uh, how much credit Nintendo is really getting right now. And I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of uh, other companies try to recreate what they've done here. And they're probably going to more than likely fall flat on their face. Because, you know, anytime a, you know, anything new is done in a game... <laughs> Everybody's going to start trying to do the same. They, they got to do the next cool thing, essentially. And I definitely think we're going to see that, because right after Breath of the Wild came out, we've seen a lot of other games uh, start following that formula. Uh, games like uh, Genshin Impact. Um, what is that? Oh, I know what that is. That's a Hinox. And my death machine, I left it behind. It's probably gone. It is. I can tell already. Alright, well. I guess I'll go fight it under my own power. Whatever. If I can find it. Again, one second. Again, sorry about that. See, my cat, well, I should say my uh, one cat, he decides he's going to eat all the food and not leave any for the other cat. So we have to separate them to eat. And my daughter knows this. We just, even though we just started this the last couple days, she knows that needs to be done. But here's the thing with both of my children, with their chores, to hurry up and get them done. <laughs> they don't put actual effort for it drives me insane. Alright. Um, here we go. It's just a Henox. A red Henox. He ain't gonna be too bad. Um, normally you don't see these guys patrolling. They're usually sleeping. Alright, next one. Let's go with 
this one. And done. Anyways, as I was saying, you know, Genshin Impact kind of followed suit, and then we had that, uh, that Phoenix game, uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising, I believe, was the full title of that, um, amongst others. Well, I was going to get myself some... Uh, fireflies, but instead of collecting them, I ended up activating this idiot. Those things get in my way more than anything. Alright, now, did I find this? Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to show you how I like to get around Hyrule nowadays. As well. Just pop this down right here. I have pretty much started traveling this way ever since I seen uh, somebody else use this on a TikTok video, actually. I really liked it, and I was like, you know what, we're going to start using that. It's pretty easy on um, your battery life everything so oh and, and there's another great use for it right there come on land landings are nice and smooth which is nice uh, a little more uh, I want to talk a little more here about uh, Breath of the Wild, or not Breath of the Wild, uh, Tears of the Kingdom here in the last uh, month. Um, there's been rumor that new um, Amoebas will be coming to um, this game, which would be awesome. Why they didn't release those, like, with the game is beyond me. Um, I expect a Nintendo Direct here pretty soon, probably in the month of July. And um, I believe we're going to get told, finally told about uh, the DLC for this game. And I just really wonder what they're going to do. Oh, there's a balloon up there. What they're going to do with the DLC. There's already so much content here that I really wonder where else they can go from here. Speaking of Amiibo, I did that and still didn't even scan it. So we're going to do that. Pray it's not in the stick. I already believe I got the only rare item you get from that Amiibo. So I wouldn't expect anything that insane. Nope, just a nice broadsword. It can just stay in there. Or maybe... Yeah, let's drop this one and take that. Get him over with his friend. Oops. Don't want to talk to him. Let's see if I can get over there without uh, aggro and fly uh, Oh, wonderful.
We're actually going to move this over here. I don't feel like aggroing the fly boy over there. guys on this thing all the time and never have any problems. So what the <laughs> Try this one more time. Heavier than the rest. Sure seems like it. That's really all I uh, really had to say for the discussion tonight. Um, just the cells numbers, uh, Metacritic scores, and uh, just talking really about how the developers of other AAA companies really, really loving what Nintendo's done here. It's not too often Nintendo gets those kind of props, so it, it's nice to see them. Uh, actually being given their due for once. They may not always have the most graphically impressive hardware, but they know how to use their hardware. Quite well. Like I said, you know, the last few streams of this, you got to really see what this game was like in its first few hours. A lot different because most of the time I'm avoiding battle and everything else right now in stream. And on this, <laughs> this pl uh, playthrough, I have fun messing with it. That Korok must have been... I don't know if they have different weights to them or not. But it sure seemed like they did. If I could get up there on that dragon. You can actually uh, get on the backs of the dragons in this one. We're going to land her up here on this. So the uh, my energy can recharge. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's items that I can use to do that, but I like to try and save them because you use those to buy some of the uh, materials to be able to build this kind of stuff. do it whether I like it or not.
It might make it. It might make it. Oh, apparently he, uh, around him is unbearably cold. So I might not be able to land on him. Well, yeah, I will be. There we go. So awesome, we can actually ride the back of this one. Like, of, like, all the dragons, actually. Not just this one. It's just you couldn't do that at all in uh, Breath of the Wild. And I just think this is absolutely incredible to be able to do this now. So, again, don't forget, uh, this is a sponsored stream from Marvel Strike Force. Uh, to get the link, just hit exclamation point Marvel, hit enter, and it will give you the link to uh, start the game. dragon. Okay. I booped the snoot. I booped the dragon snoot. Not anymore. Uh, As you see, I have the whole map uncovered, which also gave me all the Sky Islands, which there isn't as many as I would have liked there to have been, but there's still a fair amount. And then you have the depths, which that, that's what I have revealed there. And as you know, on, or earlier on stream, we actually were in the depths. It was, no, it was the last night stream we were in the depths. And we 
were not down there for very long, nor did we unlock much of it at all. Literally went there and did what I needed to do for that one quest, so we could get our camera, so we can start adding stuff to the compendium. I could have just teleported in, but it's pretty fun <laughs> skydiving in. a lot like lava to me. There's a lot. Okay, so we are going to have to uh, equip this. So we might not need to equip the whole thing. to equip the piece that much. I'm still smoking. Uh, I don't have anything equipped that... Oh, yes, I do. There we go. Be all right now. It's interesting how they've returned to the game. Might be showing you guys a little trick here in just a few moments. We need this zonite. That is something that you will need a lot in this game. Um, why am I on fire? That's why. The weapon. I hate to use this as my hammer, but oh well. Maybe I won't be showing you that trick, at least not here. Okay, it's not too hot down here. I should be able to use this again. Uh, it's when I get near those lava water, or those lava falls. I was going to call them lava waterfalls. That would make absolutely no sense. <laughs> So this is about to break anyways, so I'm going to show you guys a neat trick. So first off, I'm going to equip this. This is what I usually use to mine. I know it's not the most efficient, but it's sturdy, it lasts a bit, and I can clone it. Oh, oh. First off, we're going to save. We're going to act like we're going to throw the weapon. 
We're going to hit minus. We're going to go over to the adventure log. We're going to scroll down here. Now, this is not the quickest way to clone things, but I'm not really one to really use the whole uh, cloning process and stuff. But I don't feel like going about getting something to mine all the time. So this is literally the only thing I have been... It's called duping, not cloning. But this is the only thing I dupe. Um, now, if you watch, we start this memory... And we back out and we do this four times. That's one, two, three, and four. Now what this does is every time a cutscene activates, it moves the game one frame forward. So now, when I go here and I load this save, as you see, I still have weapon in hand, and there is now another one sitting here. So now, I have two. Now, if you really want to make some rupees and you want to make them fast, what I suggest is fuse. Uh, I don't have it anymore. That's right. It broke. You'll want to fuse diamonds. They're the most expensive material in the game. They sell for 500 rupees a piece. And all you do is fuse this to a weapon and then do what I showed you and you can make rupees pretty fast. There's a quicker way to do it. I am not able to do it nor demonstrate it because I am not that far in the game yet. With as much as I have done, I cannot do that just yet. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I want to go towards the blue mark. That's what I want to do. Let's change my weapon out so it's not burning. Now, I can use that flying machine down here, too. And what's great is you can add uh, bright blooms to it, like a large bright bloom, and essentially give it a headlight. Which there are a, are a headlight um, material from uh, Zonite, or from the Zonai, I should say. And this is how you explore the depths. Ooh, that was almost bad. This is where you're going to find a lot of your bomb flowers. Is in the depths. Yeah. Yeah. I 
means more zonite for this guy. <laughs> This is what he's useful for. Yeah. some sparkling down here. I don't need the heat resistant stuff on anymore, so... Having these guys can sometimes be a pain in the ass. Wow, I got zero zonite from that. Quite literally nothing out of that one. Anyways, I was telling you how you can make some uh, mad money. Anyways, you f uh, as I said, you fuse a, a diamond to the end of something, and then if you head to uh, Terrytown, you can actually have those materials uh, re-split. So you pay 20 rupees for each uh, thing you unfuse. And then you get 500 in return for each diamond you sell. So you still end up making 480 rupees per uh, go. So definitely a quick made way to make rupees if you don't want to go about it um, a legit way. If you just want to have an infinite supply of rupees, that's one of the best ways to do it. Um, again, there's another method I cannot do nor show because I'm not that far. But if you want to know the easiest, quickest way to duplicate, you can just uh, search it and you'll see it. You'll find it. Oh 
boy. Some enemies and stuff down there. Lightning lizzle fists are no fun. Just <laughs> stay out of their light or their vision. stuff does there it will actually lower your max health until you reach either sunlight or one of these light roots that actually lights up large portions of the underground Is he ducked?
like to eat bright bloom seeds, so you can get bright bloom seeds from them. And they like to eat zonite as well, so. Anytime you see them, definitely take them out. Well, this is a whole section of just nastiness. light up a bigger area. Which I don't have any of those. I did, but again, I was upgrading armor today, so I used a lot of the giant bright blooms. I think it was for the miner's outfit. isn't it? Oh yeah. I don't feel like playing with that one. He stretches before he lays back down. That's funny. Oh, that just scared the shit out of me. Now, I have been trying to figure out how to get to that blue mark. For hours. I still have yet to figure it out.
that leads top side. Yeah. I still really cannot get to that spot, can I? Because this here is one big wall, and as you see, it continues on, and I'm pretty sure I've... Yeah, I've checked all around this. I've gone around the wall. I cannot figure out how to get in to that spot. Fell a little too far. Oh well. I believe this leads me to uh, the Hylia Bridge, which has a, gliok, a, fi a fire gliok waiting for me. Not quite ready to fight those yet. I mean, I probably could. I'm just not ready to <laughs> attempt it. Um, nope. This isn't the one I thought it was. As you see, I got out here in the light, and it healed me. Anyways, I think that is going to do it for the night. Uh, I do appreciate those who stopped by. Um, again, uh, if you haven't already, um, put in exclamation point Marvel. Click on the link, download uh, Marvel Strike Force, play to level 20, and help me out, help uh, Rontra Media out by doing this, and you will actually help sponsor the, the, uh, the stream. If you haven't already, hit that follow button. Uh, hit uh, subscribe. If you subscribe, you can get rid of those pesky ads and not miss a moment. Um... If this isn't enough Rondra content for you, you can go to Facebook, you can go to TikTok, and you can go to YouTube. Just search up Rondra Media, and you'll find me there. Um, check out T's Twisted Treasure Chest on Facebook. That's T apostrophe S, Twisted Treasure Chest. That is a Facebook group that has uh, crafts that me and Kitty have made, um, as well as our kids. Uh, check out Retromageddon.com for game saves, game passwords, reviews, and walkthroughs. Um, and I think that about does it for the night, guys. I don't know if I'm really going to do any shout-outs at the moment because I don't know who's stuck around Twitch at the moment. <laughs> uh, some friends of mine have jumped over to kick. Um... Uh, as I said before, I'm going to start streaming on Kick here soon as well, but I am not leaving Twitch. Don't worry about that. I think that's going to do it for now. Um, stop by Wednesday night. That's our next stream where I am going to play two hours of Marvel Strike Force and show you guys what that game is all about. Until next stream... Game on.